Alright, so let's talk about a count. If number has equal digit count and digit value, so you're given a string nums. So basically, like, you need to count for the, uh, the value in a string and then compare to the frequency. So here is it. So uh, this is going to be digit 0, right? Digit 0, digit 1, digit 2, digit 3, right? And then in our counting array, counting array, in the index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, right? But I'm going to just talk about the frequency. So this is going to be frequency for the num, right? So here's it. So for the frequency, for the 0 is 1, right? Only 1 for 0, 2 for 1, 1 for 2, and then 3 for 0, right? So now we need to uh, we just basically uh, look at the question and then just talk about how we compare. So I'm going to say the digit 0, right? So I need to go back to the string. So, so the digit 0 occur once in the num, which is what? Which is true, right? Digit 1 occurs right, twice, right? Digit 2 occurs one, right? Occur one, digit 3 occur three. So basically, you just have to um, traverse the the uh, the digit the digit with the increment frequency with the value uh, with the frequency value inside your counter, right? So not going to be hard, but just think about this. So here is it, All right? So I need a I need a counter, right? New int. So again, look at the question. And this is going to be what? 1 to 10, right? And just 10, right? So it's not going to be from uh, 0 to 9. Uh, sorry, uh, yes, uh, 0 to 9, right? And then I'm going to traverse. Basically, just using a char array, num to char array, right? So I'm going to just say counter c minus character 0 and then increment, right? So if I see any character inside the nums array, I need to subtract uh, the ASCII value for 0 and then I will have to store into the counter array. So this is it, right? Alright, now I need to traverse the nums array, uh, the nums string, sorry. And let's say nums are length and I plus plus. Alright, so uh, I'm going to say int uh, the what the digit equal to what the number chart as a i subtract by subtract by the character zero so I know like what what digit it is right so I'm going to say digit uh, zero right I'm going to pass in a zero minus zero so this this is what. Uh, so you will be able to know it, 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 it occurs once, right? So I'm going to say if digit is not equal to a, a counter array i, I need to return false. And if, it, it, if this is true, I need to return true. But if this is true, I need to continue for the rest of the index, right? So again, uh, let me run it. So I mean, let me just go over the visualization. So nums the chart at, at what? at i so i'm going to say uh the digit it should be digit zero and passing a zero i equal to zero digit equal to uh zero so i'm passing a one digit is one so counter the i so counter the i uh, i'm going to say comma counter at zero right counter at zero this is what equal to what uh, equal to one, right? So it match, right? One equal to one, right? And then uh, I equal to one. So numbers numbers try at I, which is one, right? Try at one. This is two. So I equal to 1, dg equal to 2, and then counter the 1 equal to what? 
101 equal to, okay, I need to just make sure I have a value. So zero, this is one. This is one, this is two, this is one, this is zero. This is counter, right? Counter at I position. So counter at one equal to two, right? Two equal to two, right? So just follow the logic and then you'll be able to know if these are match, right? You need to keep traversing I equal to two, I equal to three, I equal to, you know, so on. And then if they are, if they are what? Uh, if they are not the same, you need to return false right away. So uh, this is kind of like, like you need to just twist your brain. So you will be able to know I'm talking about the frequency inside my counter and also I need to look at my chart inside my stream. And then this is going to be it, right? So I mean, I'm going to run it and I'm going to submit. All right, let's talk about the time and space. For the space, it's going to be what? All of 10, constant. For the time, this is what? All of all of none, right? All of n, uh, n represent the end of the string. This is what all of what uh, all of n. So the worst case, all of n, and space is what constant. So this is the solution, and I will see you next time. Bye.